At this time, please turn your attention to our free race stage and welcome from Fort Bragg, North Carolina, the 82nd Airborne Division All-American Chorus. The first time that I was introduced to the All-American Chorus was while I was in AIT. Uh, during basic and AIT, I was always a singer. Everyone knew that, so when my battle buddies found out I was coming to the 82nd, one of them found a video of the chorus performing at um, the ASOM. And they sent it to me and said, you should try and join. What caught my attention about this special assignment was the fact that it's a group of soldiers singing together. Before I joined, I didn't know anything about the Army's musical program. And when I came in and found out there's not only a band, but also a chorus, here in the 82nd, that was a blessing. I recognized I loved music at an early age, eighth grade. On through high school, I was a singer. I did theater inside and outside of school. Before I hit the stage, I definitely think about this is someone's first performance seeing you and someone's last time seeing you, so you always want to give that good impression either way. I like to think about what's coming up next, who has to go out. Especially being director, you have to know all that stuff just in case something goes wrong. One of the main things y'all yeah, notice in Corporate right away is his passion for music and his knowledge. And he's passionate about teaching also. From my NCO standpoint, Corporate Terry is everything I could ask for. He knows what to do and he does it. He doesn't wait, he takes initiative. So definitely being the director of the chorus, I learned leadership skills. I learned how to deal with people a different way. In Fayetteville, I like to give back. That was one thing that my father always told me while I was young was give, give back to people because God will give back to you. It's definitely something that I like to do.